In this video, I'm going to give you two exercises to test how well you understand the evaluation thinking method. So in this position, it's White's turn to move. Who do you think has a better position here, white or black? Use the five step evaluation process and then say, who do you think has the advantage? You can pause the video to think about it. Okay, I'm just quickly going to focus on the main things you should have noticed here. In terms of material, the first step, you should have seen that white has an extra pawn. The second step, king safety, it seems quite even, both the black king and the and the white king are quite safe. The third step, piece development, maybe you could say that black has a better developed pieces, but it's it's not, not a big difference because the white rook can also easily develop, so there's not much difference in terms of piece development. The fourth step, center control, here we see a significant difference because white has a lot of control over the central squares with these pawns here. And lastly, in terms of pawn structure, we can also say that maybe white has a slightly better pawn structure because his pawns defend each other pretty well. And uh, because white has only one pawn island, whereas black on the other hand has two pawn islands. And also these two points, pawns are a bit disconnected, so they can maybe become targets. Okay, that said, I'm going to suggest two moves and ask you which move you think is better. So white wants to develop this rook. Would it be better to put it on b1 or on a1? What do you think? Pause the video to think about it. Okay, so the move rook a1 is not a bad move. It puts pressure on the a4 pawn. But the a4 pawn is very well protected in any case. The rook protects it and the bishop protects it. And now this rook will be limited in its scope. In other words, he will be blocked by his own partner in front of him. So... From that point of view, we can say that rook a1 is maybe not a bad move, but definitely rook b1 will be better, because on the b-file, the white rook will be a lot more active. He'll help to control all these squares on the b-file. He even puts some pressure on the b7 pawn. Okay, now, as I've said before, it's maybe a small difference. But if you make a few moves that... Uh, are a little bit better than your opponent's moves, then those small advantages add up. And after a, a number of moves that you get a small advantage, that small advantage becomes bigger. So it's important to notice these little small advantages or these little small differences. And uh, it will help you find better moves consistently. Okay, so let's look at another example. Okay, in this position, it's black's turn to move. Use your five-step evaluation process and then say, who do you think has an advantage here? Pause the video to think about it. Okay, so let's focus on the main differences you should have noticed. In terms of material, everything is equal at the moment. Even though black is threatening to capture the pawn and then it will be a pawn ahead. But as the position is at the moment, material is equal. In terms of king safety, we can say that the white king is safer than the black king. Black e even has to be careful of this potential check threat here. Alright, the third thing is to compare peace development. And with regards to peace development, we can also say that uh, maybe, maybe white has a small advantage, mainly due to the fact that this rook is so well developed, whereas the black rook in the corner here isn't developed yet. Notice, however, that this black bishop is much better developed than this knight. Reason being, this knight can't do much. It can't come into the center because of the black pawns. So it's pretty useless at this point. We can say that the white bishop is much better developed than the white knight. Okay, the fourth thing we look at is we look at the center. And uh, it seems that black has slightly better control in the center, mainly due to these two pawns that help him control central squares. Then lastly, pawn structure. It would seem that black has an advantage in terms of pawn structure. They both have two pawn islands, but these white pawns are particularly weak because they are isolated and they can easily become targets. Okay, so if I have to summarize, we'd say that uh, if black can solve his 
king safety problem and the fact that his rook isn't well developed if he can solve that problem then he will have an advantage because mainly due to his extra center control and his better pawn structure now black is also tempted to take this pawn after all a pawn is a pawn and if he can be ahead of material that would be even better so now i'm going to suggest two moves and ask you to think about it which move do you think is better here queen takes c5 or castle you can pause the video to think about it okay i'm going to tell you straight away which move is the best castling is better for a few reasons firstly of course king safety should have priority and you get your king safe while at the same time you wanted to get your rook developed also as quickly as possible but there's another reason why you could just castle right away and that is that you're going to win this pawn on the next move in any case there's nothing that uh, black can really do to save this pawn for example if he tries to protect it with the queen you can just pile on more pressure on the pawn and uh, even if white found another way to protect the pawn you can even load the bishop onto the pawn and sooner or later you're going to win this pawn in any case and probably you're going to win that pawn after that pretty soon too on the other hand if you didn't castle just go back to that position if you instead took the pawn then you would have possibly been under some pressure after the move rook b8 check and you'll be forced to play the bishop back and uh You'll have to calculate what's going to happen after a move like that. So the point is, you don't want to unnecessarily get into all these complications when you know that you could have simply castled and that you'll just win the... In this position, you can simply castle and you're going to win that pawn in any case. Okay, so with that, we've pretty much reached the end of day two of the 10-day chess challenge. You'll notice at the bottom of this page, I've made a... A, a diagram that you can print out or save to your computer and use it to review the two thinking processes calculation and evaluation and it will be a good idea if you do that all right i'll see you again tomorrow cheers